you may recognize this intersection. It's where Grandview, Delhi, and Grace all meet, right by the hospital and not far from Washington Middle School. Chances are, at some point, you've had to wait a long time to get through this intersection. This summer, the city of Dubuque will convert this intersection to a single lane roundabout. Studies show that roundabouts maximize safety and reduce congestion. Here's how they work. As you arrive at the roundabout, you must yield to traffic already in it. Look to your left and enter the roundabout when there is a safe gap in the traffic. Always go to the right. The way the road curves, traffic signs, and pavement markings all combine to make going to the right very obvious and natural. Once you're in the roundabout, continue in a counterclockwise direction until your exit. Turn on your directional signal and exit the roundabout by going to the right. Again, it's very easy and natural. Roundabouts are designed to keep traffic moving. They virtually eliminate the possibility of a head-on crash or a T-bone collision. As you approach a roundabout, watch for pedestrians. Roundabouts are designed so pedestrians cross in marked crosswalks before the roundabout. Remember to always yield to pedestrians. Short crossing distances and slow-moving traffic increase their safety. Bicyclists can either exit the roadway at the pedestrian ramps or take the lane and enter the roundabout as a vehicle. If an emergency vehicle with its lights and siren activated enters the roundabout when you're in it, keep moving. Exit the roundabout first and then pull over to let the emergency vehicle pass. Let's review. When you approach the roundabout, slow down. Observe all standard road rules. Yield to pedestrians and bicyclists at the crosswalks as you enter and exit. Look left and yield to traffic already in the roundabout. And enter when there is a safe gap in traffic. Thank you.